Hello everybody, Pazzi here. Welcome to State of Mind. A new game of Steam. I think it was released two days ago, so it's pretty new. <laughs> very, very excited to uh, get my hands on this one. So here we go. It's time to check it out. State of Mind Reminds me of Blade Runner The architecture The neon lights Robots? They're robots in this game Oh So robots and humans, they live happily together in this world. Robot police. Is that like a suicide booth from Futurama? It's a suicide booth. <laughs> Ooh. Heart rate, high or low? Too high, man. Blood pressure. Too high. And his beta levels? Too high. James? Your son is extraordinarily gifted. Damn, where have I seen his face before? That's Richard Nolan, ma'am. He's with The Voice. Richard Nolan. See Shark. What's going on? Damn. Stabilizers now. Okay, so that was the bombing. The crash, the car crash, happened after the bombing, right? It's not the other way around. But interesting, there are robots in this game. And they are the police force. Mr. Nolan? Richard, can you hear me? Where am I? You're in the central hospital. Can you open your eyes? And can't see anything. Don't worry. Your sight will return soon. A drone found you on the side of the M75. We'll begin with a sight test, and then I'll ask you a couple of questions. I'll create a glowing object in the room now. Do you see that? Try to concentrate your eyes on that object. Yes. 
It's like a frying pan. It's a pocket watch, isn't it? Good. Again. Very good. Your sight will return to normal soon. We're gonna do some tests. Cognitive, emotional, memory. It won't take long. Do you know what date it is? I don't. I think it's 2048. I see the year number in the movie, introduction movie. 2048. Saturday, 11th of January, 2048. Very good. That's correct. I will now say a short sentence and then ask you a question about it. Ready? My eyes are blue, my hair is brown, my house is white. Which three colors did I mention? Three colors? Uh, gray? I don't remember. Is it gray, white, and brown? Bl yeah. Gray, white, and brown? One more time, please. Oh, oh no, it's blue, white, and brown. <laughs> Darn it. Blue, white, brown. Blue, white, and brown? Very good, that's right. Can you tell me what happened? What... What happened? My family. Where are they? You can't remember anything? There was a car crash, and then a very chaotic scene. It's like a zombie apocalypse. There were bots. Something was burning. Chaos. I don't know. Give it time. You're in good physical health. You were very lucky, Richard. Now I'm going to reconnect a part of your AR system. Ugh. Unpleasant, isn't it? Your eyes and your brain will have to get used to it again. Can you stand up? Please follow me to the table. Okay, Berlin Centro 2048. We're in Berlin, Germany. We're in Germany. This is Germany. Look at this. Germany. Hello. Cognition the test. From the left side of the table. Make it glow yellow and place it on the right side of the table. Encephalon scan. You arrived here with trauma to the brain. Your scan results were serious. You've stabilized though, so don't worry. If the tests go well, you can go home. Okay, so we can also examine the hotspots here using the examine icon. Encephalon scan. Nolan Richard. Richard Nolan, that's my name. Scan report. Cognition test. The test will help you evaluate your cognitive abilities. Please concentrate and follow the instructions given by our clinic personnel. Inventory. Change the color of the cube by applying light pressure to its sides. And do you have any questions, just ask our personnel. Change color, so I need to change color. Okay, let's uh, leave it at that for now. I don't think we have to change colors. Okay, we shall do one more test. Please follow me. That was an easy test. Guess I'm doing all right. So this is a hospital, isn't it? Hello, people. Richard. All right, hold on, doctor. I want to look around. Hi, guys. They all look like they have a lot on their minds. This gloomy place. Okay. Who is this? I don't know. Is that my son? The neighbor's kid. <laughs> He's a fictional character. He's from an entertainment VR, right? No. Not exactly. Is that really my son? It's my son? Exactly. 
What's his name? His name is Jason. Jason. Think carefully. Not Jason. Not the kid from Heavy Rain. His name is James. James. Very good. Where is James? Is he here? You've already asked about your family. Just now. Don't you remember that? Where no. is he? It's just a test, Richard. James is a good kid. I love him. Of course you love him. You are his father. Do you get along well? Richard? He's a good kid. Do you know this person? My yes. wife? Yes? That's the mother, or the mistress. That's Jennifer. That's Jennifer? No. No? My wife. That's Tracy? Excellent. Tell me about her. What do you mean? Tell me anything about your wife. A memory, a story, anything. I know that we were, were in a cab. It was nighttime. We were joking around. I took Tracy's hand. Keep going. The onboard systems were malfunctioning. It, it got colder. The windows got foggy. I told her we were almost there. Okay. Do you know how long ago this was? What do you mean? This memory. How long ago was it? I don't know. What about this? Do you recognize this building? The voice? Not a TV show, the voice. Am I a producer there? It is a government building? Looks like some government building. No, that's wrong. Clinic. It's the clinic, right? Sorry, no. That is the voice, Richard. You work there. What do you do there, exactly? I'm a specialist in... in... I'm a judge. Right. <laughs> I write about technology. Very good. And how would you describe your position on that matter? Do you have one? I'm a journalist. My position is the truth. Ah, that came fast. That's the standard line, right? You must say that all the time. Well, can I go back to work, Doctor? We'll wait and see. You suffer from amnistic confabulatory syndrome. Memory lapses, confusion, mood swings. But when you're home, you will start to feel better. You'll see. Okay, Richard. You're good to go. Uh, I feel queasy. It'll go away. Your memory will come back probably within the next few hours. Perhaps not completely, but let's be patient. Well then, I wish you the best. So, I can go? Of course. You've been given neurostabilizers. If you have any problems, contact me. Okay, but I... I don't remember where. Oh, yes, of course. You live at the West Plaza, Mr. Nolan. The cab will take you home. The medic bot at the entrance will escort you downstairs. Okay, so was I all alone in the car or not? During the car crash. The memory says that I was with my wife, but we don't know how long ago was that. So was I all alone in the car? Get some rest. The medic bot will take you downstairs. The doctor, Timothy Keller, Neurologist, Central Clinics, Berlin. Oh, I see a doctor. I would not be back. Hello. Ooh, it's a robot. Okay, so it looks like robots are taking over a lot of the jobs. In many, many different fields. And even the guard here. Good evening, sir. Follow me. I will escort you downstairs. Poor humans. I wonder what the em unemployment rate is in the city. So many robots are taking over the jobs. 
This is a news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. There has been yet another bombing at one of Kurt's robotics production facilities. This has been the second attack within the last few days. In Nairobi, tensions remain high as fighting between Eastern and Western drone units continues in the mining region, destroying large amounts of natural resources. Twenty forty eight. Whoa, what the heck was that? That wasn't a tram. <laughs> you are at your destination, West Plaza, Berlin. Your account has been charged twenty five credits. Whoa. Underground car park? Wow, that's amazing. Sir, please, something to eat. Marsupi is taking applications now. Valid nano scan required. Mars, our future. By being a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. Interested? A nano scan takes no more than two minutes. Start afresh. Decide the future. Be a pioneer. Mars. Mars again. Such a popular place in movies and in books. I suppose it is because it is the closest to our planet. Tracy, James. Good evening, Richard. I'm Simon, your Base 5 Home Assistant. Today is January 11th, 2048. It is 7.33 p.m., room temperature 20 degrees Celsius. You have no more appointments today. Please forgive me. I powered down yesterday. What the hell? Is everything okay, sir? Can I bring you anything? Tracy! Who the heck are you, Simon? You new cloud messages. Oh, oh, new message! Cloud message. Uh, from the medicine from the hospital. Not now. Not now. What if that is urgent? An urgent message. Lydia, 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 Lydia. Who is Lydia? Single lives in Queens, New York. So, a whole ocean apart from where we are right now. We're in Germany. Richard, are you there? Come on, what's going on? I have no idea what's going on. Happen? <laughs> Call me, please. What time is it in New York? She's probably asleep by now. It's nighttime over here in Germany, so I suppose it's uh midday? Yeah, no, she's not asleep. She's probably having her lunch. Can we call her? Richard, this is not funny, okay? Pick up now. Did I do something wrong? Let's at least talk about it. You can't just... Who are you Ugh, supposed to be? Call me back, please. Otherwise, I won't be able to sleep. Are you my mistress? <laughs> <laughs> You're not the wife. My wife's name is Tracy. You are Lydia. Can we, can we call her, guys? Richard, are you there? Come on, what's going on? Okay, Call okay. Me, please. My contacts. Lydia. Call Lydia. This contact is currently offline. Okay. We'll call back later then. Simon, your name is Simon. You are my assistant, robot assistant. Okay. There will be time for this tomorrow. Broken mirror. Oh, look at the city. Looks so busy.
Richard Nolan had this window fitted with safety glass. So that means it's unbreakable. <laughs> Drones. Drones are holding ads? Advertisements. Wow. Find it very intrusive. Can we close the curtains? <laughs> I'm not in the mood for ads. Tracy, what is this bot doing here? I told you. If you like, I can answer that question. You shut your mouth. Yeah, shut your mouth, Simon. Tracy, where are you? I have a feeling that Tracy is dead. What if she was in the car with me when it crashed? Tracy, I want this thing to disappear. If I may speak, sir. Go ahead. Sir? Yes. I want to know where your family is. Yes. Okay. Where is Tracy? Mrs. Tracy is not in. Yes, I can see that. She wanted me to inform you that she went to her parents for the weekend. Oh. Wanted to oh. inform me. Fine, she can stay there. Okay, so we were not together during the crash. That's good. What about James? She took him with her, of course. Correct, sir. They'll be back tomorrow morning. Should I give you a status update? You should do nothing. Did Tracy say why she went to her parents? How do you mean, sir? What was her reason? She only told me to be here for you. Did Tracy ever visit me in the hospital? Does she even know that I had an accident? I can't say anything about that, sir. You can't, or you don't want to. I don't understand, sir. Exactly. Completely useless. <laughs> Simon. Who gave you a name anyway? Lydia is online. It's called Lydia. Awake. Not as long as that bot snooping around. Huh? Yes, sir? Shut yourself down. You know what? Shut yourself down until tomorrow. As you wish. I don't want you to eavesdrop on my conversation with Lydia. So, how is he gonna shut down? <laughs> is he charging now? He's charging, isn't it? What is he doing? I think he's charging. Those cubes are charging cubes? Interesting. Richard! God, I was so worried. Where were you? I was in the hospital. What? Oh, why? Are you sick? Why didn't you tell me? Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened. Oh god, are you hurt? My head took a bit of a beating. Otherwise, everything's fine. You could have been killed. I wouldn't have even known. It can't go on like this. I know. You have to speak to her. Lydia, I've just come out of the hospital. And Tracy isn't here anyway. Really? Where is she? She went to her parents. She took James with her, too. She's bought a bot. Can you imagine? I have a bot now. Me of all people. <laughs> oh. Why are you laughing? She got you a bot? That's nasty. What Not that kind of bot. <laughs> uh, read about Tracy? About my wife? Uh, no. What do I know? Did she leave because of that argument you had? Argument? What argument? Yeah, you're a week ago? You complained about that for hours? <laughs> no idea. The past few days are still a bit of a blur. Do you think she wants to leave? <laughs> What's wrong? Are you scared? Scared? No, why? So why won't you say anything? Because I need to think. Fine. You don't need me for that. Sweetie. No, it's fine. And anyway, I have another customer. At this hour? It's lunchtime in New York, Richard. I told you I'm no longer working nights. Too many creeps. Get some rest, and remember, if you ever need to talk, you have a bot now. Yeah, yeah. Who is she, anyway? I call her Sweetie just now. Is she my sister? My... Really, my mistress? Really? Or just one of my good friends? I call her Sweetie. Not some... Yeah, it sounds more like family members. Please don't open the door. 
She was in the car. Oh, what? She was in the car with me. She was in the car. That means she died in the accident. What? Cobalt blue. Aquamarine. Or a faded turquoise. Or a spectrum. Is that possible? Whatever you wish, Doctor. However you imagine it to be. It's Ray. I have to go. Keep me informed. Of course, Mrs. Newman. Mrs. Newman? Uh, there's our patient. You just missed your wife. I am a different character now. Huh? A bit less days than yesterday, Mr. Newman. Hmm. Looking at you, I see nothing but a piece of art. Your pulse is uneven, but it's expected. Your medication. Otherwise, do you remember the accident now? Remember the... No? Yes. Yes. The cab. It'll all come back, don't worry. Any questions? Don't forget, you can call me at any time. This is not the same guy, isn't it? And he was in an accident also. I'm confused. What about my son, my wife? Also have a wife and a son. I'm confused, guys. What is going on here? Is this the same guy? He, he looked a little bit different. Not the same. John, is he okay? Your son will need to come in for regular examinations for a while. But there's nothing to concern yourself with. I'm confused. And Amy? She's fine. She wasn't in the car. Ah. Right. Did you think she was in the car? No. Maybe. I'm still a little confused. Yes. <laughs> That's bad, right? No, no, do not worry. I'm just noting it down. Memory loss is a common post-trauma phenomena. We push these experiences into dark corners of the brain and then come up with conspiracy theories. And yes, you were alone in the car. I was alone in the car. So that flashback was the other character then. The other man. The electronics suddenly started playing up. You were incredibly lucky, my friend. The car is a wreck. Not too fond of flying, hmm? I mean, uh, who rides a cab these days? It must have been the electronics. Now, don't go jumping to conclusions, Newman. Leave that to the experts. In fact, don't make any conclusions. Not in your state. Just relax. No more questions? Very well. If you wish, you may get up. No sports, lots of water, and if you have any problems, you have my number. Don't you worry. Minerva will gently guide you through your day. Oh, and please take your son to the clinic as soon as possible. Your wife had to go to an appointment. We expect him daily at 10 in the morning. I'm way too confused to have questions right now. Back, Adam. The world. The world. Huh? Who was talking? Okay, let's take a look at the city here. It l looks different. Very different. Maybe a different part of the world. Not as gloomy as before. Stars. What would you like to do, Adam? So, Adam. We have different names. The two characters have different names. So, it's not the same man. Circling yourself. For sure. Even though they are very similar. The two families are similar. They were both in a car crash? A different car crash? A circle. A circle? What? what? Who is talking right now? It's beautiful, John. Henry and John. 
is my son. Your son is the most important person in your life. Make sure he is always happy and taken care of. John's next appointment with Dr. Sykes is at 10 a.m. Wow, <laughs> very interesting game so far.